Hello, my name is Dos Mike, and today I want to show you my sponge plugin, uh, Villager Shops. So, I'm first going to tell you how to install it, um, the commands, and then the permissions. So, in order to get this running, you will require an economy plugin. Pretty obvious, it's a shop plugin. So you need an economy plugin as well. And Village Shop requires Langswitch. Langswitch is required for translations and is linked on the GitHub page and or page. Um, if you download Village Shops, please download it from the release category on the GitHub page because that also contains the translation files. If you download it from the or repository, from all.spongepower.org, it will not have the translations and it will spam your console about missing translations. All right. If you got all these three in your mods folder or mods plugins, uh, you should be ready to go. So first off, we want to create a shop and I'm first going to walk you through creating admin shops um so just stand at where you want to create the shop and type v shop create then the entity type like uh, well, villager for example then you can specify a skin um if you want to know what skins are valid just uh, google the type of uh, mob you are spawning. For example, um, I'm spawning a villager. If you go to the uh, Minecraft wiki page for villager, you'll find professions and you can put in these professions as skin here. Uh, most vanilla mobs are supported, so just try it. And then you can follow that up by a name. Let's say this shop is Willy's Wool. The chat will tell you that a admin shop was created. And that's it basically. You can also create uh, all sorts of funny, funny shops like, let's say, Rabbit. And then you have a Rabbit shop. And for special occasions, you can also create a player shop. For this, the type is a sponge human. And with skin and the player name, um, you can give it a player skin. The player has to be online for, for this to work. All right. Now, in order to remove a shop, um, or do anything else with the shop, you will almost always want to look at the shop directly. So be within interaction range, look at the shop, and then type the command. For example, we shop delete if I want to delete the shop. Uh, if I want to move a shop around because I don't like where it currently sits, we have to first identify the shop. Uh, then we walk to the new location and we say B shop TP here. And then we shift click that number. And there we go. Now to add items to a shop, um, you again look at the shop, hold the item in your hand. This is important, your main hand. Uh, and then you just say V shop add. Then the buy price, what the player pays to buy that item, let's say 100, and then, oops, sorry, and then the sell price. And that will add the item to the shop. Now, if you only want the item to be sold, so that only the player can buy items but not sell them. You omit the sell price by typing a tilde. 
And if you only want a item to be sellable, for example, uh, you can omit the buy price with a tilt. And that will disable the respective option in this list. If you want to remove an item from the shop, uh, you need to count positions. So I have position 1, 2 and 3. Uh, let's say we want to we want to delete the third position so we can v shop remove three and that will return it uh, remove the item from the third position now if I want to change the first item now without having to remove everything and re-adding it I can Use V shop add um, 10, 5, and with uh, dash O position, I can specify what position to overwrite. That's what the O flag is for. And now he's selling the chest here. I can also say. only a single wool nice selling single wool okay in order to create a player shop you will need a chest below the the floor where the shop is placed or directly below the shop so if you uh, stand on top of a chest and say B shop create uh, this is now a player shop works for this one as well let's add an let's add an item to this one. If I sell an item now, that item will move into the stock chest. Um, the stock chest is where player shops buy and sell items to. Um, this is absolutely break protected, so uh, nothing should be able to mess with that. I understand that it's pretty inconvenient uh, having to keep a chest below the shop. So let's say you want to move that chest into your base. Um, then, granted you have the permission, you just look at the shop and say the shop link. And then open the chest uh, you want to link to. And if I sell something now it moves into this chest and this chest is protected if you as a player want to prevent users from filling your stock container with one uh, certain item because you actually just want to buy one uh, eye of ender or nether star or whatever you have the option to Limit how much your shop takes with V shop add. Uh, we want to buy this rare item in this case, we don't want to sell it, and we limit this with dash L to one. And now this item has in the tooltip in stock zero of one, and if I put the wrong I uh, put the wrong option. Of course we want the user to be able to sell one. I will write two. So if I sell wool now, I can only sell one. You see I messed up here. Um, but still I can only sell one wool because now the stock container has one wool. And it won't let me sell more. Go B shop list. 
and we see a list of all shops currently on the server. Uh, we can TP to shops by clicking on the name. Um, we can open the, the stock inventories of uh, player shops and um, even take, take items out there. Um, if we want list shops for a specific player, just add the player name. Um, there is the shop ledger or log to um, basically show you a history of what happened at your shop. This lists the last 100 transactions within your shop. But you can, as admin, of course, look at the logs for other players by appending the name. Um, and additionally, to create player shops, um, you need the shop create and then the entity type, for example, uh, you've seen Minecraft Villager, this would then translate to the permission vshop create Minecraft Villager. So that you can control what kind of shops players can create. Villager shop also has two options. If you're using lock perms, you can set these two options like this, user or group. Um, meta set. And then the first option the village shop has is the shop option player shop limit. I can set that to a value. Um, this is to limit how many shops one player or how many player shops one player can create. Uh, they won't be able to create more than that amount of shops. And the other option is uh, daily income dot limit blip, blip, blip. and you can put a amount of money in there so you can kind of prevent abuse if you're uh, suspecting that there's something wrong in, in, in the system you can limit the daily income for players or groups like that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.